Do you have a chef in your family? If so, I'm going to show you a quick, easy, personal, and practical gift that you can make for them this season. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a knife guard, a knife sheath, or a knife side, whatever you want to call it. But in essence, it's going to be a protective covering for the edge of your blade. Knives are very important to chefs, and some really nice knives don't come with a guard to protect the edge of its blade. But even other than that, you should have a guard not just to protect the edge of your blade, but also to protect yourself from it if you have it laying loose in a drawer or on a countertop somewhere, or even if you're in your knife bag. All you're going to need for this project is the knife that you want to cover, some clothespins, exacto knife, some wood glue, and a little bit of wood veneer. Now that you have all that, let's get started. I started off by cutting down the maple wood veneer that I had into a smaller, more manageable piece. Then I cut six smaller pieces out of that that I'll layer together to make the middle and two sides of the sheath. This part is obviously a lot easier if you start off with veneer that is already flat. Mine came as a roll, so this is just the issue that I had to deal with. But also, once you add the glue, it'll the veneer would have started to bend anyways, but a quick compress with a heavy flat surface, as you'll see I'll do later, it will quickly fix that, fix that problem. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is glue these layers together to create the middle and the two side pieces for my uh, knife guard. Uh, I went ahead and cut out uh, a seventh uh, layer just to match the thickness of the spine of my knife. You want to, This is the thickness that you want to match. You don't want to match the thickness for the edge of the blade because it won't be, you won't have enough space on the inside for the blade to fit. So you want to measure for the for the spine of the knife, for the, the thick part of the spine of the knife, not for the not for the edge. And you can do this with type on two, it's perfectly fine. Uh, I like type on three, I want to use type on three simply because it is waterproof and uh, after you're done washing clean knives, they should be dry, but there might be a little bit of moisture left in and just add this just adds a little bit of extra security. And also ideally you should be using wood veneer that is just solid wood, not the paper pack like I got here. But if you're, this works fine too. You just glue the two paper sides together and then you got solid wood on both sides. So you'll be fine. And this is again, just to protect the blade, you know, protect the edge from if it's in a drawer to protect yourself from anyone just grabbing in. Also if it's in a knife bag, a knife roll, what have you, to protect the edge of the blade from knocking into other tools that you might have in there to keep you know the edge of the blade sharp so uh, for all intents and purposes this works just fine for that next level
After I made sure that the blade fit inside the sheath properly, it was time to start sanding. I started with 60 grit sandpaper just to refine the profile of the sheet to grind on all the rough edges and then I worked my way up to 400 grit sandpaper. I found that you really didn't need to go much further than that and it really didn't take that long to be able to refine the shape of the knife using starting with the 60 grit and then the final 400 grit just to smooth everything over and make everything nice and neat. Okay, now that I got my knife sheath made, that's good. Doesn't shake loose. I'm gonna customize it a little bit. It's about this simple, reusable stencil over at my, one of my local craft stores. And what you do, real simple like, peel off the letter. Sticky side. You put them together. These, I like these ones; they're nice because you can line up the letters really easily. Just because you know they're all blocked off. And there you go. You can create a nice custom piece. Easy enough, you can put someone's name, put chef like this, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> Very easy to customize. Now just to finish it off, I'm going to use some of this Howard uh, Butcher Block Conditioner. The uh, reason why I like using this is because it has food grade mineral oil and uh, beeswax in it, which is all food safe, and it seals and coats the wood really nice, especially in this instance when we're trucking where it is supposed to be food safe and we're using it with a knife and it's going to be used in a uh, food service area potentially. You want something like this that's not going to be toxic or contaminate, you know, the food that you're working with. So, I like this, <clears throat> I like this finish a lot. And also, it's very, just very clean, very simple. Make sure you get around the edges. That's okay. Pour a little bit on the inside, just make sure you get the inside of the wood as well. It's all right, and again, because it's food safe, it's all right if if it gets on the knife. It's not gonna hurt it. Completely food safe, non toxic. And <clears throat> there you have it. And let this sit, wipe off the excess, and then we're good to go. Well, there you have it. A quick, simple project that's easy to personalize for anyone you like in your life. This is a fun little build. It's easy for anyone to do in an afternoon and get good results. And you can certainly do this with different kinds of wood, different kinds of wood veneer. You know, with more distinct, more detailed, and in my opinion, much more beautiful wood grain patterns to get a much better product. But for my purposes, the, uh, the maple wood veneer that I use uh, works just fine. It helps, it's strong, smooth, you know, it's a nice clean surface. Again, easy to personalize. You can do this with a wood stain. You can do paint. You can do um, carving, engraving. But it fits snugly, doesn't fall out. And again, just it's perfect for protecting the, the edge of the knife because it is wood. It's not going to mar the edge of the blade. It's going to keep it nice and snug. 
and again it's gonna wear in as well so as the more you use it you take it in and out of the knife sheath it's gonna conform more to the size of the blade so that it'll fit more snug or to be if it's too tight at first the more you use it it's gonna be a lot more easier to get in and out of the sheath I hope you guys enjoyed this project I'll leave a link down in the description below with some of the items that I used for this project. So if you feel so inclined, you can try this project yourself at home. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching and as always, take care.